What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be di dissecting the New York Football Jets from Madden 19. Now, if you haven't heard, the ratings are out. Be sure to check out all the ratings for your full team. Because we got so many likes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and review the New York Jets from Madden 19. Now. If you want me to review your team, all you have to do is get all the other viewers to like the video that watch. And for every 250 likes, I will review another team. So go ahead and like the video right now if you want to get that started. Because possibly we'll get through all 32 if all the videos get 250 likes. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look at what their roster was um, in Madden 18 with all the updates. And then we're going to look at the Madden 19 updates um, that are right in front of me. Okay, so here we go. The New York Jets, I think we got to go backwards with the J right there. It should be there, Jets, and then we're going to go overall with all. Okay, now, looking at this compared to what I have here, right, it's going all by overall, and we can see that Demario Davis is the highest rated player at an 86 overall. Now, the highest rated player is Adams, all right, the strong safety. He comes in at a whooping 84 zone coverage. Now, First, before we get into dissecting this team, I want to tell you right now, I have absolutely no faith that the Jets are going to do anything. Um, I do believe that as far as the AFC least goes, um, they should be... Hold on, let me see. The Buffalo Bills... Well, well, what? It depends on what goes on with McCoy. The Bills are probably still going to be better than the Jets, though. The Patriots are obviously taking it. Um, yeah, I don't really see... I don't, I don't really see much going on there. The Bills, the Jets, the Patriots, and there's one more bum team in the East. That I just can't think about right now. Which one of those bumped? Who's the Miami Dolphins? Is that them? They suck too. But that, well, we'll get to them later when we get to 250 likes. But let's go ahead and just look at this right here, right? Your coach is Todd Bowles, okay? Todd Bowles is a soccer dad that doesn't know how to use Google Maps. So he should not be coaching this team. But that's neither here nor there. So let's go ahead and start with Madden 19. 86 overall. I think it's Jamal Adams, right? Is his first name? Okay, he's a he's a 91 speed. That's pretty good to start the year. All right, but the 80 the 84 zone coverage, I don't really like that because depending on what goes on and if they make a meta, that's not going to be good. Okay, so I thought that he should be here though. Okay, there goes Jamal Adams right there. That's him, right? Jamal Adams. So he's going up from 83 to 86. So that's pretty good. But you can still that he he kept the same speed. What's his zone? What did he end off with with this year? Uh, to see the difference in Madden 19. Where's his zone? Zone, zone, zone. See if they got better or what. All right, so they gave him higher zone coverage, so that's pretty good. You can't really knock that, so it was Jamal Adams, because I try to remember everybody's name, but there's so many people, and I try to, like, keep the lesser teams out of my brain, so with the Jets, like, I know a lot of people are going to be upset um, about the way that I'm talking about their team, but it doesn't really matter if you're upset. You got to be able to understand that you guys have sucked since Joe Namath won the Super Bowl. You guys haven't done anything. Even with that idiot Rex Ryan, you know what I'm saying, when it was all the hype and you did all that with Sanchez... You guys still just couldn't... I don't know what it is about the Jets, man. But you guys better keep that fireman that's there that's doing what he's doing. That's the most exciting thing about your games. When that fireman is doing whatever he's doing. Shout out to the New York City Fire Department. You guys are heroes. But let's go ahead and jump back into the game now, right? Madden 19, Jamal Adams. 81 awareness, 91 speed. Is he decent at an 86 overall? Yes. Um, I just don't like his zone coverage being that low. Uh, will he play the ball? To be honest with you, he'll probably play the same way that a higher zone will play at launch, if we're being honest about everything, if we're just going to keep it 100. Um, I don't think that it's going to be much of a differential between the way that he plays and the way, let's say, a 91 zone plays, all right? Coming in at number two, Roby Anderson. Now, they have him as an 84 overall, and they have him with a 94 speed in Madden 19 also, okay? Now... I don't care about his route running. What's his acceleration? 90. So he's pretty much the same thing. Roby Anderson is the same thing. If I had to take one thing off this team that I really enjoyed watching, and every time I turned on highlights, Roby Anderson. This dude, like, is it Robbie? Roby? I don't know how you say it, but I think he's going to jail, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't he? I thought he got into trouble with the law. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going based on what I thought I saw on Twitter. I think he got into some kind of issues. Well, we'll see if he gets out of it, but he is extremely talented. This is the shining light of this team, in my opinion. A complete shining light, bro. Like, I'm not even playing the games with that. Like, complete shining light. Leonard Williams is coming in at an 84 overall, so he's pretty much the same thing that he is right now. 73 speed, um, same thing there. Um... It's really, I don't know what else he got going on, bro. Like, I'm not going to go through all this thing because he's trash. And, um, I don't, you know, he only, he's only been there two years. Well, I can't really say he's trash. I'm not going to say that. I guess it's because he plays on the Jets that he doesn't really get his due. 
But I didn't even realize he only had two years in the league, though. I thought he was there for at least three. Well, I don't really want... Bro, now that I think about it, it doesn't really matter how long he was there. He's on the Jets. All right. Now, Javon Curse, right? This dude is coming in at a whopping 83. So they gave him a plus one so he could just suck even more in the game. He still has a 90 speed with a 93 acceleration. He's 6'1". Will he be useful? See, this guy right here would be good to, to if you were going to play regs. He would be good to play regs with because of his height and speed. I could rock with this guy. I don't know too much about this guy. I don't know what I would do with this guy, bro. But um, let's go ahead and look at the D tackle right there. McClendon. All right. Was McClendon here last year? McClendon. There he is. He's an 81 there. McClendon went up to an 83 this year. So EA likes you. And the one thing I can tell you about the EA ratings, if they give you decent ratings, like updated, and they give you like plus ones and plus twos, you literally did something to earn it because they don't give out ratings easily. And a lot of people get very, very upset with that. So that's huge that he went up two points. Trust me when I tell you that. They do not give out ratings very well, all right? Um, what I'm going to do right now, though, is I want to jump to who's this? this? This T. Johnson guy, the cornerback. Is he there? Is he rated in this? You know what I'm saying, bro? Hold on. What, what's going on? Is he there at all? Cornerback, cornerback. No, they got, they got screened. That guy sucks. Claiborne sucks. I think he was better with Dallas. That guy sucks, bro. McGuire, he sucks. Yeah, this team is pretty bad, bro. But let's go ahead. Okay, they got T. Johnson on the squad. He has an 88 speed and an 85 zone coverage. So I guess the guy's decent. I don't see him here, but over here, he's an 82 overall. So whoever this guy is, bro, um, we got to figure out what's going on with him. But I don't know. You know, that's a pretty decent corner. I think they got, now that I think about it, they probably not that bad to start, bro. Yeah, bro, now that I think about it, bro, that's a decent corner right there, bro. Like he, he looks like he's garbage in the face, but is he really trash though with an 85 zone? So they got an 85 and an 84 zone. That's not too bad, bro. Bro, it's not too shabby. Do they suck, though? Probably. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be honest about it. All right, but either way, that's neither here nor there. I got to jump down to the quarterback position because as we know, oh, they got, in, in, in what is it, Inunua? E Inunua got a 90 speed, bro. Hold on, what is he here? He got a 91 speed. So he went down? He's only three years in. This dude sucks, bro. He went down to a 90 speed and a 92 Excel. Where's his Excel at? Okay, the Excel is still the same, but he went down to a 90 speed. That, yo, this dude, Inunua sucks, bro. All right, so look, to make it a little bit more, um, you know, it, I, I want to emphasize the, the QB position. All right, because they have three quarterbacks. And I just want to talk briefly about Bridgewater. I want to talk about McCown. And then finally, I want to talk about the rookie, Sam Darnold. So that's how I'm going to kind of end it out because that's pretty much what determines how your team's going to do. Now, Josh McCown in Madden 19, where is he? He's a 78 overall, okay? Now, we're gonna, I'm going to bring up his throw power here. Let's bring up some throw power action. All right, we're going to get that out. And then I'm going to add in, where's his throw power? Where's his throw power? Throw power. Let's add the throw power in. All right, so McCown has an 87 throw power. Okay, Teddy Bridgewater has a 90 throw power. And Darnold has a 90 throw power. So pretty much what they're saying is Teddy Bridgewater and Sam Darnold have the same throw power, which I don't agree with. I think Darnold has a much bigger arm. Then Teddy Bridgewater. I don't ever think that Teddy Bridgewater was like a big arm guy to begin with, even when he was with the Vikings. I think he was a very decent quarterback, a guy that you can win with, very mobile, get outside the pocket, make some nice, you know, mid-range throws. I never thought of him as a deep thrower, like a, you know, like a dotter like that. But if he's dotterlicious, whatever, bro, doesn't really matter. So let's go back to McCown. He has an 87 throw power, and he's been reduced to a 78 overall. And this is the guy that might be starting for you guys to start the year. That's not a good thing. Okay, so his throw power remained the same. He has pretty good throw mid, deep. Everything is pretty much the same with that. Um, but this is the guy, a 78 overall quarterback, that's supposed to lead you guys to the promised land. He has 15 years under his belt, bro. Only thing is, he's not LeBron James. Like, if he was LeBron James, we wouldn't really worry about that 15 years. But this dude sucks, and he got 15 years. So I don't know how this is going to apply for the Jets organization, especially when Todd Bowles is on the sideline looking like he needs to use the bathroom ASAP. Okay, so let's just go along and say this, right? McCown is a 78 overall. Teddy Bridgewater is also a 78 overall. Only difference is the 90 throw power, right? So let's just say this, right? Sam Darnold, I would probably say he needs to start by midseason because I don't see this team doing anything. If we're being brutally honest about it, if this is, if, look, guys, I also do recaps during the year. So if you guys are not following me um, on YouTube with G Miles World Podcast or iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, um, and Android, you guys need to do that, bro. Just search G Miles World Podcast. Uh, I am worldwide and it is a free service and you can download my podcast 
weekly when I'm doing the NFL season. And right now I do podcasts every now and again about the NBA. But right now I'm kind of on hiatus because I usually do football mainly. So if you want to do that, definitely go check it out. Um, and all those other avenues I just told you. You can hear me live when I'm talking about uh, these situations. But I, if the Jets turn out to do something decent, trust me, I'm going to let you guys know. If I, and, and I watch, like I, I get all the games and I have to like browse through it, but I kind of like keep my Sunday very open, especially during the football season. Uh, Sundays and Mondays are very important, bro. Like I got to make sure I see everything. Even with Thursday night football, if I don't catch it, I DVR it and I watch it before I do my recaps. If I can't get to watch every single thing, I watch the replays and look at the key points, but I pretty much know who's going to win games. And if I get shocked, it's very, very rarely. Okay. I will be shocked. If the Jets win more than seven games, I will be shocked. I, if they go more than seven and nine, bro, I will stop calling Todd Bowles a soccer dad, bro. Like, and I'm not saying a soccer dad is bad. It's just not good for coaching football. Because like, if you take care of your kids, you do what you got to do, bro. There's no, there's no shame in that. But when you're an NFL football coach, bro, and you look like Todd Bowles, you just can't drop your kids off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't do, it, you, bro. You got to just be a deadbeat, bro. You can't, like, bro. You got to just change up your whole. Your whole demeanor, dog. Like, the dude just looks really weird on the sideline. Okay, so Josh McCown is supposed to be your savior. I don't think so, man. Why is your kicker... Oh, who's your kicker on this team? Because they got Santos right here right now. Who's the kicker now? Where is he? Oh, uh, Catanzaro? Okay, he got three years in. All right, because they have... last. Okay, they have Santos now, and he has a 76 speed. What is his kick power? Let's go ahead and bring his kick power in and see what he's doing. Because if you guys don't even got a kicker, then it's like... Like, why are we even talking about this? Bro, where's the kick power? Okay, there it goes. Okay, so, we, oh, he got a 95 kick power. Oh, at least you can make a field goal. You know, that's a good that's a good thing. You guys could probably make field goals. This guy probably sucks, so he's gone. So you got this guy, Santos. 95 kick power is not too shabby to start the year. All right? So, look, listen, we know you can make field goals now, so there's going to be a lot of three-pointers going up. Uh, getting back to the quarterback position, though, you're not going to win with this idiot. All right? Now, Teddy Bridgewater, I don't see a lot in him. Maybe you guys can refresh my memory about why he's good because I know a lot of people have been saying, yo, bro, he's decent, he's de whatever. I don't agree with that, okay? But if you guys can prove to me, you know, like, yo, g he did this, he did that, which I don't think you'll be able to do, um, we can go from there. You see what I'm saying? But in my opinion, he's an average QB that can manage it. I don't see him as a superstar. So I don't see a lot coming out of New York. It's very, very difficult Yo, just to start off with, to play in any of, uh, you know, New York's franchises. So I don't really expect... Uh, Teddy Bridgewater to really shine like that, to be honest. Josh McCown did very, very well last year. It's just that you can't overcome being a bum. It's very, very difficult to do that. And they did surprise me with a lot of wins that they got. And yes, they did get cheated against the Patriots, but they're the Patriots. And the refs are going to give them calls because they are the Patriots. And you are the Jets. Until you earn some respect, nobody will respect you. So, in my opinion, what I would do if I'm the Jets... I would probably start Sam Darnold sooner than later. Because if you try to... He's not going to learn anything realistically from sitting on the bench watching McCown and Bridgewater. I can guarantee you that much. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, you get to sit on the sideline and learn and stuff like that. It, it's, it's pros and cons to that. But I think Darnold is... More, he's ready. He, he played an NFL-type, you know, format. In college. I think he's ready. I th in my opinion, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think he's ready? Because I do. And I would much rather take my chances with fresh blood than this old blood right here that's going to just, I know what he's going to give me. You see what I'm saying? Like, and other than that, there's not really, like, Wilkerson has just been a disgrace. He's just fallen right off the map. Like, I don't even want to go through, the, the rest of the team, like I said, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to be going, like, past 80, dog. Like, when I'm reviewing these teams, bro, like, I'm not even going past 80. Like, if you're, if you're below 80, bro, like, I don't want to know that you're on the team, dog. Like, you just suck. So, in conclusion, I think the New York Jets, in 2018 to 2019, their season, they won't, min they will not win more than seven games, and in Madden 19, they're not going to get a lot of decent upgrades, but I think with Roby Anderson, um, I like Roby Anderson, and I think that he's a stud if we can get him in mutt early on with that 6'3 height, but if you use the Jets, you're going to have a, a lot of inaccurate passes. I don't think that they're suitable to use for regs, especially if you're competing or you know, you're trying to just win games in general for money. This would not be the team I would use. I want to give a shout out to the individual that acts for the Jets to be reviewed. You were very respectable when you asked, and that's all I asked, bro. It's the internet. Let's not be internet thugs. Let's have some fun. Let me know what you would rate the Jets. My final rating for them, I'm going to go with a solid D, all right?
Thank you guys for watching, and go Jets! One love.